Introducing Mark Magnifico Maxayo. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Isaac Canalito Evola. Isang Pilipinas noon sa tinitingala na bansa dahil sa may mga bukod tangi po si tayong mga buksingero na nakipagsabayan sa palakasan na kung tawagin ay ang boxing na kung saan inagawa nila na mapagkampyonan at mapagharian ang dibisyon na kanilang dinapakan. Hindi magagawaran ng mga naiambag nitong ating mga kababayan sa larangang ito dahil sa naging silbing tulay sila at liwanag sa mga pasibol nating mga kababayan. Nagawing inspirasyon ito para sa gayon ay magtagumpay din at maging susunod na haligi dito sa ating bansa sa palakasan na kung tawagin ay baksi. Ngayon mga idol ay isa po kasi ang tinaguri ang magnipiko na si Mark Magsayo na dati may hawak ng WBC featherweight world title belt ang lalaban po ngayon sa mas mataas na division. Ito po dahil sa hindi na kinaya pa nitong ating kababayan ang kanyang nakagisna na division. Dahil sa mas lumalaking katawan na naging pangunahing dahilan kung bakit nagaroon ng sunod na dalawang talo ang ating kababayan na si Magsayo sa kamay ng dalawang magiting na Mexicano na si Ray Vargas na dating WBC Super Bantamweight World Champion at itong dating Unified Super Bantamweight World Champion din na si Brandon Figueroa. Sa pagkatalong ito ay kaliwat ka ng pambabatikos po ang inabot itong si Magsayo sa kapwa niya mga Pinoy na kung saan ihingalin ko no ito at mabilis mawalan ng hangin sa laban na naging pangunahin dahilan lang naman kung bakit siya natalo dito sa kanyang nagdaan na dalawang laban. Pero hindi po ito naging hatlang para kay Magsayo na ipagpatuloy ang kanyang nasimulan Kaya naman eh, sa pag-akyat nito sa junior lightweight division o itong tinatawag rin na super featherweight division mga idol ay ibabalik ni Magsayo ang anghang na mag-aangat muli sa kanyang pangalan. Para sa gayon nga ay mahanay muli sa mga magigiting na kampiyon sa super featherweight division. At dahil dito ay atin muna pong kilalanin ang Mehikano na makakalaban ng ating kababayan sa laban. At ito na nga po, ay ang tinaguriang kanilito ng Mexico na si Isaac Abelar na may kartadang labing pitong panalo, anim na talo at may sampung na nakaw dito sa kanyang labing pitong na ipanalong mga laban. Isa rin agresibong buksingero itong si Abelar mga idol na nagbabato ng malalakas na kombinasyon sa kalaban. Hindi rin matatawaran ang tindi ng Mexicanong ito kahit nagkaroon ng anim na talo. Kaya naman eh, sa laban, ay maraming nag-aabang na Pinoy boxing fans kung ito na nga ba ang pagbabalik ni Mark Magsayo o mararanasan po muli nito ang kanyang ikatlong pagkatalo. Kaya naman eh, sabay-sabay po natin ngayong silipin sa kung paano nga ba lumaban ang makakalaban ng ating kababayan. Puerto Rican descent. And he traveled decision and looked pretty good fighting at 130 pounds. Yu Yu, oh. it was a right hook that he landed. And um, in his last fight, he scored an opening round knockdown against a, a... And Hector Garcia, in his very next fight, dominated Chris Colbert. He's now in line to fight Roger Gutierrez. He's a gatekeeper. Should we answer you here on Thompson Boxing on Friday night? Lex Camponovo, the it's matchmaker idea. for him. He's going to join us right here on the broadcast. Ask, you shall receive. Alex Campanovo. Alex is way to a victory in Telemundo. So, uh, you know, we believe in what he can do. Made. I like the jab to the body. He's being a little more careful with his, his, his jab. On a night like tonight, where you had Yulo Gein, who got called a day ago. Yo, Ramona Yala, who oh, hadn't fought in six years. As you can know, as you can imagine, it's a challenge. Oh! Oh! A big shot by Avalon with the left! And move back to Yu Yu Acosta! His knees buckled, he got tagged, he gets hit with the right now! Canelito! Yu Yu is talking! All right from Yu Yu, but a big round for Canelito! Oh. Oh. Wasn't that very, it wasn't very hard. Uh, George, to his credit, understood that it was, it's dangerous, you can see. Avalon knows. Some combinations. Acosta like, yeah, <laughs> okay. 
So the head is his timing. He's, he's just a really good counter punching. He's got good balance. Look for him. Well, I, I, I think that Acosta would or be overconfident. If he actually moves a little bit more, like he knows how to do in box, he will do a little bit. Better. And uh, obviously, this is the right step for him. Step in that right direction. And just, you know, back oh, it up. Much he better than nice right Acosta. It, it's all the right hand, especially when he leads with the right hand. Oh, man. So going back and forth. Yeah, it's a close fight. Works it to participation here. Thompson Boxing, make sure you download the Night Boxing is a good one. Yeah, this is a good main event. Hotly contested. Right. I think now we're starting to see like, okay, you. Why are you nodding your head, Alex? I see that a lot, guys. Yeah, because uh, Acosta is landing that straight right. I'm actually enjoying this fight. It's, it's you know, all the back and forth action. It's, it's a terrific match, I think. For all the guys that are promoted by our company, by Thompson Boxing Promotion, that they have to learn and show us something. This is, you know, this is a learning curve that they have to go through. They have to go through guys like Avalar. They have to, to, to figure a way out of a tough fight like this if they want to move up in the... In the, in the so yeah, the first two rounds to Avalar, Ivity, but also landing that right hand. Avalar trying to split the guard. We're watching this right now, fantastic boxing scrub. And Avalar oh, yeah. on the road to get hit. He's got some oh, body yes. shots. Drop them. And he's just holding on, holding on. Avalar gets hit upstairs. Hang him up on the inside. Acosta needs to nail him upstairs to bring those hands up so we can land another body shot. And a body shot did land by a round, a strong round for El Yuyu. Jorge Acosta chopping the body of Avelar. He's holding on. He's doing what he has to do to, to run out the clock. I, I think Avelar is still dead. The veteran move of holding on as much as he could. He got away from here in the sixth. Oh, there's a right. Yeah. What the Halfway through the sixth. Yeah, Avalon's body is still hurting. And tight. And there's that left. Arvin checking in. Just restored him. Well, I was, I was hoping that he was going to be a little bit smarter in the last round. And now, you know, these two rounds that are coming up are going to be key oh. for both guys. Avalon knows that he's behind because of the knockdown. A death oh. fighter to Avalar really came to win tonight. My goodness, what an effort. Got Aldo Aguilar, what's happening, Aldo? to go in the seventh round. There we go, there's there's some right hands. Shot landed by... Oh! I've got Acosta up. Three points. Doug's unofficial scorecard. Ken. Isaac Adelaide. Can you... Boxing smart in this final round. Dropping Avilar in the fifth. Is that going to be the difference? And that'll do it. Eight good rounds. Alex Caponova, thank you. Ngayon yan sa tingin nyo mga idol, may pag-asa nga ba na makasungkit muli ng panalo ang isang magsayo kontra sa Mexicanong si Isaac Canilito Abilardo?